Hey guys, welcome back to Just Being a Mom. And today I'm showing you guys a diastasis recti workout. Um, workout. What, a workout. A and Elijah, can you move? Just move. Thank you. Um, for those of you who don't know what diastasis recti is, um, it is basically a gap within your abdomen that comes from pregnancy. So as the baby grows, the abdomen stretches and it usually comes back together, but for me, it did not. It created what we like to call diastasis, diastasis recti. And so basically it leaves a gap in your abdomen and it's, and it's essentially a injury from pregnancy. And so uh, a lot of people have to get surgery. A lot of people go to physical therapy. I chose to go the physical therapy route because I wanted to have a baby, so it made no sense to go have surgery. Um, so I had about a three and a half no. finger gap, so it's about no. three fingers and a pinky inside my abdomen. And from three months of physical therapy, I was able to get that down to one finger, probably about a pinky size of a finger, and um, and it only took three months. And so I'm going to show you some of the exercises that I did in physical therapy. Um, side note, I'm not a physical therapist, and I, I am not a doctor. So take everything with a grain of salt, but this is all the things that I've learned from physical, from physical therapies, from my midwife and from my doctors. So I think if it works for me, it'll definitely work for, oh my God. Okay, enough, bye. Um, so I think if it works for me, it'll definitely work for you guys. So guys, all you need for your workout today is just a yoga mat and a rubber band, a resistance band. That was what the word I was looking for. A resistance band. This is totally optional, but I do highly recommend this exercise because it does engage your core. Um, but a lot of the other exercises work perfectly well um, if you don't have a resistance band. And try to leave your baby somewhere because they just get in the way. You know how they are. They're just a hot mess express, okay? <laughs> so let's get started. So first we're going to start off with some leg extensions with al alternating arms. Um, it's a lot harder than what it looks like. You cannot move your hips. Your hips have to stay leveled like as if there was a book on the back um, on your butt and the book can't fall off. It's a little hard for me because my butt's so big, but, <laughs> but I really try. And I have this child here that's just bouncing around everywhere. Um, but. Anyways, do five on each side or until failure, go as long as you can. But remember, keep your hips as straight as possible and engage your core. Do not let your belly drop and don't sink into your shoulders. Ooh, I'm tired. Okay, so next, <laughs> we are just going to do three sets of planks for 10 seconds. Or you can do as long as you can go. I always like to say go, in, go until failure. But, um... I stopped at 10 seconds just because I didn't want the video to be super long. <laughs> and I'm tired, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to rest. But um, these are just, just basic planks. So I know you guys are probably thinking, well, her belly's not super flat, you know. So I'm not doing this so my belly can be super flat. I'm doing it so I can close the gap and then maybe work on my belly. But I honestly think my body's perfect. <laughs> I love all my curves and all of my butt and my breast and my midsection. <laughs> and you should love your body too. Your body's perfect. And you did like create a whole baby. So there's that. Okay, so next we are doing um, plank leg ups. I made that up. <laughs> so basically, you're just um, lifting your leg straight up behind you. Keep your core engaged. I can't stress it enough. I did five on each side. Of course, go till failure as long as you can because that's better. I'm guessing. <laughs> but just make sure the leg goes straight behind you. Oh, and these are plank step outs. So you want to just step out to the side 
Um, do make sure you don't bounce your hips. You can get a little sloppy with these. So keep your hips in the same spot and just move your leg. Don't move the rest of your body. Elijah, geez Louise. Oh my goodness. He's the worst. <laughs> okay. So now, um, you're going to put your legs in a tabletop. These are, um, alternating leg drop downs <laughs> also made that up um so basically if i could get this baby out of the way basically what you want to do is take your left leg extend it straight out and drop it down six feet above the ground you can do five on each side is a great starting point guys these are just starting points these are beginner moves so um you know take your time be gentle with yourself. If you can only do three, do three. <laughs> um, but I did five on each side. Don't forget to wipe your sweat either, guys. <laughs> um, so this is... Guys, I don't know what the names of these are called. I don't know what that is. I don't know what I'm doing. But basically, um, make sure your legs are tabletop. Spread your um, knees apart. Um, this works the outer abs. And um, just go straight up and down. Tap your toe on the on the mat. I did ten. Feel free to do more. And engage that core. Look at me. I'm struggling. <laughs> I think we all know what these are. I think they're called six inches leg drop downs. Ten and. To make it even more challenging, you can hold it um, at the six inches um, for 10 seconds to 30 seconds, and that will definitely um, work that core. I only did 10, because <laughs> that's just the theme, the theme of the video. <laughs> I'm only doing 10 of everything. Now these are dead bugs. So you wanna alternate your arm and your leg and just, um, your leg should go straight out in front of you and your arm should go straight back. Try not to go past your ear and just bring it up. And when you bring it up, kind of do a little crunch, engage the core. And as you go down, keep the core engaged. And the slower you go, the harder it is. So try to slow down and don't rush through any of this workout like take it slow and easy and trust me you, if you haven't worked your abs out in a long time you'll definitely be sore So for this last workout, you want to grab your resistance band. You can do it standing or kneeling. Um, I had poor camera positioning, so I had to do it kneeling, but I still got a really good workout. So you just want to pull it up and really engage the gore, keep it tight, and you'll really feel as you're pulling up your, um, your abdomen engaging. So yeah. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed your workout today. I hope it was helpful. Remember, consistency is key, so you do have to keep up with it and do these little things every day. I mean, not necessarily every day, but at least four times a week. So to try to get that gap closed and for it to stay closed, you do have to keep actively doing these things or it will open back up. You do want to avoid like twisting I don't want to do it because I don't want to mess me up. <laughs> but like twisting like back and twisting like, because it can just like open it up more. Like imagine it like this and it's like twisting and then it's just like opening back up. So you really want to avoid those things. And yeah, just try to take care of your body. Keep it, keep always engage your core, keep it super tight. And yeah, you'll be good to go. All right, Elijah, are you going to say bye to your friends? Bye, friends. Say thanks for coming. Bye. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. See you next time.